In the following tutorial, we'll review how you can get started creating and using products in Chargeify. Products represent the primary basis for subscriptions to your business. A product can be a specific service like delivering a software solution to your customers, or a physical product like a monthly gift box. You can create multiple product families where you can organize products, components, and coupons. And for more information on components and coupons, please watch our tutorials on each. There are a number of ways to define products when you create them in Chargeify. The most basic setting when creating a product is defining the reoccurring price and renewal period. For instance, you may charge a customer $25 each month until they cancel their subscription to use your software. You can also offer a free or paid trial for any amount of time. And you also have the flexibility to define what happens at the end of the trial period, whether you expect payment or not. If you have a setup fee, you can opt to charge it up front or at the end of the trial, and you can specify whether the customer will be charged until they cancel their subscription or if it expires after a specific period of time. Taxes can also be applied, and you can define whether the tax is for a physical good or a digital service. You can choose whether to request or require a billing address, and if appropriate, a shipping address as well. Finally, you can specify the web address where your customers will be directed after they successfully sign up for your product, and whether you would like to create a public sign-up page for the product as well. After you log into your site, you'll want to navigate to your products menu. You can do this first by clicking catalog and then products. You can see we have a couple of products already created in our billing plans product family. Product families are an effective method to organize associated products from your business. Let's say you sell multiple gift boxes based on your customers' tastes. You can have one product family for product components and coupons for a monthly box, and another product family for items associated with a quarterly box. Let's create a new product family for a software service we are offering. First, you'll want to click the Create Product Family button and then we can name this product family software. You can also specify an API handle if you or a developer is creating an integration between Chargeify and your application. You can also provide a description of the product if you choose. You can see that this site has two product families, but you can have as many or as few as you'd like. Let's go ahead and create a product in our software product family by clicking the Create New Product button located here. You'll notice specific tooltips that provide further detail on the settings and configurations throughout the site. To enable these tooltips, simply place your cursor on the question mark located next to each setting. You can name your product and its reoccurring period and price here. Let's create a monthly product for our software business for $25. We'll call it monthly. These two settings are all you need to create a product. However, there are a number of advanced options that you have to further customize your product by clicking the Advanced Options drop-down menu located here. First, you can add a description of the product that will display on your public sign-up pages if enabled, and an accounting code for use within your company. You can add a trial for a specific period of time here. Let's use the trial feature to offer an introductory price of $5 for the first month. You can choose whether the customer is expected to pay at the end of the trial or if there is no obligation. If you charge a setup fee, you can add that here. It can be charged up front or at the end of the trial period. Let's set it so that it is charged at the end of the trial period. Some products can have an expiration date if you wish. In this case, the customer will be charged the reoccurring amount at the appropriate period until the subscription is canceled or expires. If you're required to collect taxes on the product in one or more jurisdictions, you can enable taxation here. For more information on how to implement and manage your business's taxes, please refer to the taxes tutorial. You can then specify whether you want the customer to enter their payment details at the time they sign up for the product, which you can do here. You can also require a billing address. If you are collecting taxes, you'll want to require the billing address at signup, as this is what Chargeify uses to determine your customer's taxable jurisdiction. If you are shipping a physical product, you could require the shipping address as well, 
which Chargeify can also use to determine your customer's taxable jurisdiction. You can set a return URL here, which is the web address customers will be redirected to after a successful signup. You can also implement any return parameters if you require by entering them here. Finally, you can create an associated public signup page for your product to help streamline the signup process by enabling this checkbox here. After you click Create Product, you will see that the monthly product appears in the Software Product family here. You also have the option to archive products. Archiving products removes the ability for new subscriptions to be created with that product. Existing subscriptions will continue without interruption unless moved to a new product via a product change or a product migration. Any time you make a change to the price or renewal period of a product, Chargeify will create a new version of that product. This allows you to have a historical record of the product and the ability to move subscriptions to older or newer versions. Please note, nothing happens to current subscriptions associated with that product until you choose to migrate them to the new product version. We hope this review of the product's feature was helpful. Additional information can be found in our product documentation at help.chargeify.com and you can also contact our support team at support at chargeify.com with any additional questions. Thanks for using Chargeify and have a great day.